Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, uh, 2019, and bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we are going to jump right into it. So the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Virgo, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be uh, the Judgment card. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week for you. We do have the, um, the Ace of Cups. And the last one, which regards to the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Eight of Cups. Need a couple of seconds here, uh, people, because it's a little bit of a tough read. It is what we do have. Mm. Well, definitely ends on the positive end, or kind of like it turns to be on the positive end. And it's just, you know, that judgment on the second position in the challenges, it's especially coming with the ace of cups as there is a, a pretty big gap in between these two cards um in that specific um uh, that specific read but i think i figured it out all right so uh six of pentacles which is the topic is going to be accompanied with the nine of wands so we do have at that specific stage a kind of a creative expression that you are to take in the week. What I mean here it is that most likely you are going to undertake a, a tasks or responsibilities, if you will, that have been long time forlorn from you. But now it does look like, guys, that you have cleared up some room and some space to finally attend to those um, to those chores, I would say. So what these two cards here are pointing it is that although you have postponed those chores or those responsibilities, promises, you name it, ultimately they are to haunt you. And um, even though you may have tried back in the days to, um, uh, to kind of like pass them on into someone else, that someone else were not able to solve them. So at the end of the day, it comes again to you to resolve those uh, those issues and those chores. But nonetheless, aside from the chores, it looks like that you're gonna feel quite comfortable with the unfoldment of your situations in regards to career and relationship into this, uh, into this particular week. Um, having no major issue where you are gonna need a, a helping hand into. And it, it's kinda like it is because not that those, um, those endeavors that you may need a, uh, that you may need a hand into are going to be small endeavors but it is because at the end of the day you are to understand that they are yours to to do right and 
actually the people that you may call to help you are not going to make any difference at all the the biggest difference that they are going to do is to postpone the chore which is again going into a, a magic circle or go um, entering kind of like putting you into this magic circle so it is kind of like that you finally break you know the magic circle of a constant annoying chores that you kind of had them on the um, in your platter and you couldn't get rid of now this this week it is where you get rid of those chores so uh challenges here is going to be the judgment card and it is catalyzed by the four of wands so that plays a big role in this particular case why you have abandoned why you have postponed those chores it is because someone was missing or it could be a, a motivation to do it you know it could be an important detail that you didn't knew or you didn't had at your behalf and you see and you saw no reason whatsoever to attend to those chores at uh, back in the days and I do believe that we're talking about a motivation here. So something new is looming on the horizon, right? And you do recognize that having all those chores, having all those matters that are not settled at that point are only going to create a severe back, uh, seat setbacks and problems when that thing that is looming on the horizon comes to you and as a matter of fact with these two cards the challenging cards it is a thing that you have hoped for i mean it is the thing that you have prayed for but uh challenging wise it looks like that you are gonna feel unprepared to take why because you do have all those chores so this week it is time to like I said roll up your sleeves get to work and break that magic circle which is depriving you more or less you know to attend to the true direction into your life to the substantial direction for one thing that actually is going to present you with a breakthrough either career wise or either relationship wise and when i said uh, relationship wise you know that could be the new um partner that it is looming on the horizon but you need to sort out the uh, misunderstandings and the chores with the previous partner that you recently had okay so it's kind of like you need to it's not clean break with the past but it is more like a uh, sorting out the burdens that you are carrying on from a previous endeavors so the next one it regards to the positive aspects of the week and that is going to be the ace of cups uh followed by wow look at that guys i mean we do have the four of pentacles you are definitely going to be able to establish a, a secure future for yourself uh, it's, uh, the more you attend to those unsettled things to those chores that you have postponed postponed you know unresolved matters the more you are going to liberate yourself and the more you are going to liberate yourself the more sensual joy you are going to experience the more you're going to feel stepped on a solid ground having a um it's not even a solid for the foundation but like like said bring building up a fortress for yourself building up your castle building up your future so that is the positive aspect of this week the more once again the more you resolve from the past the more stable future you are to uh, accomplish for yourself and not only just that but it is also a, a secure one so you're gonna take uh, positively here with these two cards you're gonna take uh, the necessary measures or repercussions to uh, make it long lasting it is because what was in my mind now that is because it's it's kind of like that future is something you would love either career or either relationship it doesn't really matter because the ace of cups it while it may represent a love in between two people it, this card represents the love for life itself and that thing that is looming it will make you love it it's because like so with the judgment with the judgment card it is what you have needed what you have waited for not just well some of you may have not waited it for all right because the judgment usually comes in a peculiar circumstances but it is definitely a, a thing that you need to be happy to be emotionally fulfilled if you will to transcend yourself into a new and brighter future 
And the last card that we do have, it is the Guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to you, Virgo. We do have the Eight of Cups. And then it is the Page of Pentacles. So Guidance-wise, um, it's very important here because uh, until now we talked about a chores that needs to be resolved. Now with the Page of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups, because they are a passive friends, those cards are pointing that some chores of those doesn't need to be resolved at all. I mean, they could be just left forgotten back in the back in the past, all right, and forlorn them simply. And those chores that you can forget and that you can just leave, you know, and not attend to are usually those that you are feeding them by yourself. So you are throwing in nerves, for example, you are throwing in money, money, you are throwing in... Um, um, a personal tendency, if you will, and it is just the problem worsens and worsens. So at that stage, you just have to leave them alone. Because these two cards are, porting, uh, are pointing that should the situation not improve, but rather turn, a, uh, turn for the worse, this situation I'm talking about, those chores from uh, from your past, those unsettled uh, agreements, for example, or in generally unsettled things, then um, <clears throat> you have to resign about it because you need to focus more upon the brighter future that comes around. And usually those chores with those two cards are not going to have any impact whatsoever upon your future at all. And um, the lastly, those two cards are asking you as a guidance to know your price. That is the most important thing here. Know your price and do not exert your price in things that are not worth it at all. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.